the update that didn't make the reel. In this episode, we're actually working on Connie. This isn't Connie. Before we start today's video, make sure you subscribe and spank the bell to stay in tune with everything we do. What's going on? So, a whole lot, dude. I know we just went through an update, but we've been doing nonstop customer orders, which is great. Thank you guys for supporting us. But uh, I gotta get some of these projects out of here. Dude, oh my God. We got Xavier's car getting mudded up, getting ready for paint. We got this Celica is gonna be leaving. So if you don't remember, uh, Dave's buddies brought this Celica because we had, we had built Connie's carbon roof and when we bonded it, when he brought it to us, it had that metal uh, fill-in panel that they made, and it was super wobbly. So we spent a bunch of time, did some mud work, and then we laid the roof, and then I think all the mud work and it like the temperature change when we were laying the roof made the front of it dip a little bit. It, you couldn't really tell, but then once we bonded it to the car, it really dipped a lot. So then we had to cut it all off, but at that point we already cut Connie's steel roof off, so yeah, luckily Dave's friends lent us the uh, this Celica, so we could use this roof. Um, this roof was not straight either, so I bought. The, I spent like I don't know how many hours mudding up Celica roofs, but I'm done. Don't you just love mud work? <laughs> it's like your favorite thing to do. Yeah. So this is. Uh, we also made this like way thicker than the last one. So even if it does do temperature stuff or something like that, it won't wobble. Last one was four layers of 3K. This is a layer of 3K and then three layers of 12K, and then another layer of 3K. Mm, okay. Um, Dave had us dancing back and forth for a little bit. We were going to keep the roof this time carbon, so we made it nice and pretty, and like filled it with, what I would have done would be just after the last coat, just hit this with a skim coat of top coat, and uh, just flattened it all out to get rid of all the weave. But instead, we hit this with like three or four layers of uh, uh, epoxy resin that block it down straight, and epoxy resin to block it. So it's visually perfect. So now that we got it all straight, we are uh, now going to prime it and paint it. <laughs> Which, I mean, I know when you're trying to decide like big decisions like this for your car, it's kind of like, oh, go back and forth. His thinking was, if I did all the work for the roof, well, you might as well show it off. but. I think with the color that he chose, it doesn't make sense. And it would be like a thin band of a color, and like there's not a really great spot to. Lock so it he's off. painting it. Yeah, so we're gonna okay. end up painting it. I thought we should leave like maybe a big circle on top, like the Japanese flag. Like some people run a big. Oh damn, that would be you know dope. I mean? But it'd be a carbon spot, and the rest of it would be painted. But or run their Speed Academy logo in there. But it's too late. It's already getting primed. It's <laughs> so don't try and convince him now. But, um, actually, if I get some water, show you we ain't bluffing. Actually, this 40 grit might be a little too much. <laughs> yeah, you can't really tell. But... <sighs> well, we have video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making a mess at this point for no reason. But the roof is perfectly straight. It's blocked down with 40 and then 80. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime this and then uh, block it down a little bit more and then uh, probably prime it again, block it again. But then we're ready to transfer it over onto Connie and uh, his buddies are gonna come pick this thing up maybe next week or two weeks from now so we'll have a little more space in here because uh, the new project's right over there but we can't show you. Man, dude, it's killing me. And it's, I know, dude. It's killing both of us not being able to just show and yeah. reveal but. So like we put us in the last one, we picked up the body for the new big build for the channel um, yeah, I'm looking at it right now and I can't cut into it yet because I promised myself I will not cut into it until Dave has Connie back. But, whatever. <laughs> the big news for Connie actually is Dave's buddy John Seabolt. Uh, here's his Instagram. If you've seen any of his stuff, I'm sure you have. Super famous dude. Does some super, super cool renders. Really clean, always good looking. Um, so he came up with a render for uh, Celica, just like Connie, and then Dave convinced him to uh, let us kind of make them, like make the first set of those for Connie. So uh, we're working with John right now. We're gonna be getting the flares completely hand-built. Um, 
He uses Blender and stuff like that, so they're not oh, something okay. we can... Uh, I was just about to say, it was a 3D render of layers? Yeah, okay. so yeah, we can't actually... We could, we could take the his files and we could replicate them in like Fusion or something like that and get some files where we can actually cut them out on the CNC. But by the time I do all that, I'm still new to Fusion, so I might as well just hand make these. I've done it a bunch of times and these are fairly mm. straightforward. You're flares. already in here working on some flares as we speak. I know, dude. I got some Lotus flares over there and I got a 240Z roof and yeah, so much stuff to do. But we're full tubers now, so we got no excuses. So yeah, we're gonna keep ripping on this thing. Um, big shout out to John. Thank you for uh, trusting me with this design. It's super cool to be working with you. Yeah, hell yeah. Um, I would do some stuff in the future. <sighs> and uh, again, nobody guessed what the project is. Yeah, I just said it. what it was, but you, you, you know. Just said what it was. Too bad they not gonna be able to hear. Yeah, you bleep I that just, out. <laughs> mm, <laughs> so nobody, sickening. nobody guessed what the uh, the new project is. So I don't know. What what should we tell them? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you get nothing, but nobody Sorry. guesses, so keep guessing. <laughs> you can keep guessing, but... It's American, American powertrain. In a video game. In a video game. It was the last car you unlock in a video game. That's all, that's all we get. So coming up, we're going to crack this roof off of here, bond it to Connie, and then make some flares.